What's up, YouTube? Listen, family, in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down Kamala Harris's tax plan and how it affects you, your investments, and your money, okay? We're going to talk about specifically individual, her investment, and the corporate taxes so that you guys have a well-rounded, holistic viewpoint of how each of those, depending on which category, applies to your situation and how it will impact it okay so stick around for today's video for this information you don't want to miss it you always want to know how external factors affect you and your money okay this is the type of information you need as well all right so without further ado let's go ahead and dive into it check this out guys one thing we're going to break down is on the individual taxes we are going to be focusing on buying a house okay how is that going to look we are going to be focused on child care you guys got any kids let me know in the comments below if you're a parent and you have children okay tips anybody working in the service industry and oh, the type of taxes you'll get or their lack of thereof on tips and then income tax okay so those will be some things we tackle to kick this off okay and I'm going to simply start it off with, check this out, guys. As Harris to propose up to 25K in down payment support to first-time home buyers. Now, listen to this. Typically, a rule of thumb is that anybody that has not bought and owned their first home yet. Going into that, guys, I remember when I bought my first house, my wife and I, we saved up the 6%, the 20% which happened to be $6,000, but eventually we had the $20,000 for a down payment on our house, okay? With this proposal, first time home buyers will get up to 25,000 in down payment support, okay? So if you have not bought your first house yet, this will be something that may be of interest to you, okay? It's just something that is part of one of her tax plans for individuals under the home buying standpoint now if you are an existing homeowner you are going to get up to ten thousand dollars for your next house under some of her proposed laws and legislations okay so keep that in mind check this out i spoke about those of you that are parents okay a six thousand dollar child tax credit expansion for new parents is being proposed by kamala as well and so what this simply means you'll go from what it currently is now between two and four thousand depending on how many kids you got now all parents for your child will get a six thousand dollar child tax credit okay and so again that's the increase compared to what is currently at now all right i want to break these things down because you need to be factoring these in are you a parent do you have kids how many kids do you have are you a renter do you want to become a homeowner are you looking to buy your first house these are all the ways i want you guys to be thinking because if you rock with me we have a holistic approach to building wealth we have a holistic approach to our 100k challenge and so around here i want to make sure you got the right accounts roth iras hsas high yield savings accounts money market accounts anything that i know that can benefit you is what i want you to be thinking about now check this out guys Harris plans to tax unrealized stock gains but only for people worth 100 million all right so this one doesn't get a lot of positive feedback but look at who is relegated towards okay now what is unrealized stock gains if you have a stock if you bought palantir with me at any point in time if you whether you had it with me at eight dollars or whether you have it at the twenty dollar mark we most recently bought it at okay capital gains is unrealized stock gains is if you got it from eight dollars and now it's that thirty one dollars and you haven't took any profit that that profit you have earned that is unrealized right now because you haven't sold it yet once you sell it it becomes a realized gain and it's going to count as income tax okay now this doesn't get a lot of uh positive vibes from wall street because wall street don't like these type of things especially those that have 100 million 100 million won't apply to everyday joes because again that number is so huge not that many people is walking around with a net worth of a hundred million dollars okay so this is a plan of hers that again wall street 
and big money people, CEOs of corporations will use it to, you know, kind of make it a talking point. But everyday people won't be impacted by this, okay? If you don't have a, 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 a net worth, if you will, or if you're not worth a hundred million dollars, okay? So listen, guys, these are some of the things out the gate that she's proposing. Everything from buying a house to child care and so on. And so if you work in services, okay, both she and Donald Trump are trying to get rid of uh, service workers, waitresses, things like that being taxed on their tips. So they're both in alignment on doing away with that, okay? And then again, if you're income tax, if you know what bracket you in, okay, if you make under 50,000, you're gonna be getting taxed around that 20 to 22% range, okay? A lot of these will stay around where they at, but they might expire and go back to where they were prior to Donald Trump making the moves he made, okay? So listen guys, across the board, I want you to know what type of economic external factors are at play for you and your money, for you and your family, for you and your situation, okay? Those are just some of the proposed plans that um, will make up Kamala Harris's 2025 tax plan for if she's elected, okay? Guys, let me know your thoughts on any of this. Let me know um, how are you feeling in terms of going into this, this election year? Are you feeling uh, the current administration did a good job? Did you feel like you were doing better under the previous administration? What are your thoughts? I'm interested to hear where you guys fall on this, but know this, around here, we tie it all back to the money. We tie it all back to investments and we tie it all back to trading, okay guys? I'll always be looking and examining how this impacts what it is we do. A lot of times when you stay locked in, the way I try to stay focused on the stock market, you can see the impact the moves may or may not have, but on top of that though, the chart still becomes the thing that's your guide, okay? Only and if and only if the chart tells me to do a certain move is when I do it. It won't be because Kamala's in office. It won't be because Donald Trump. I made a mil over a million dollars with Obama. I made over a million dollars with Donald Trump. I made over a million dollars with Joe Biden. You guys are gonna do the same no matter who is in office after this election year okay so don't get caught up in that coach job is simply to share with you guys some of the proposed plans that's coming down the pipe on the individual level the corporate level and so on and so forth okay with that being said guys do me a favor if you are going to join the discord the link for that is in the description below i also got dropped the stop loss video that will be pinned in the comments for those of you do not need to know how to put a stop loss on your plays okay everybody else consider joining the money team this week listen the market is closed tomorrow so if you join your plays your communication won't come out until tuesday morning by 8 30 okay typically it's monday morning at 8 30 it'll be pushed one day back because the market is closed on monday okay so again guys these are some of kamala harris's proposed tax plans for 2025 if she's elected let me know if you guys need me to break down or discuss what Donald Trump plans are if he's reelected, okay? Regardless, guys, be blessed. Get ready to get in your bag this week. Continue studying. Other than that, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. We make videos like this every day, so if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember, most people see the end result. Very few consider the journey. Do me a favor. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys grab some free stuff using my link below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.